Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Chaos Mole and today I have another streaming news for you because Tim the Tatman just has announced that he is leaving Twitch for good and is becoming an exclusive YouTube gaming streamer. You can see the announcement video here in the background where he is also talking a little bit about his past, the jobs he has done and then he talks about his future and then he is announcing that he will now stream on YouTube gaming. When will he start? September 2nd is the date where he will start to stream exclusively on YouTube Gaming and that is tomorrow. Well, if you're watching this video today, it's tomorrow, but September 2nd and then he will stay on the platform and his Twitch channel will be that. And to be honest, that's a big blow to Twitch because Twitch right now is not in a great PR position. They also have a day off on Twitch going on right now where especially marginalized content creators demand change and more protection from the platform. And a lot of streamers, bigger ones, have actually joined the fray to say, okay, you know what? I will not stream today. I will not even watch any other streams. Like, I'm out. So this is already a time where Twitch... It's not looking really great. They have done a lot of mistakes in the last few months or even years. And now also losing one of the biggest content creators to a competitor like YouTube. That is a big blow. Not just fuel wise, but also money wise. Because you have to keep in mind that the top 5% of Twitch, where, well, Tim is one of them, has actually 80% of all the viewers. So when one of the 5% is leaving and they take a big chunk of their viewers and revenue with them, that is probably not good, especially where Twitch has been trying to push for ad revenue in the last few years, right? Like ad revenue became more and more important because that was the thing which Amazon basically demanded because it makes them more money. And well, if that is leaving the platform, that is not good. So Twitch has a PR nightmare at their hand, plus is losing money. Um, I don't know how Amazon will react to that, to be honest. But here's the kicker. This might not be the last thing we hear about big streamers being bought by YouTube Gaming. Because the really interesting part here is Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman have one thing in common. They both signed a contract with Twitch to be exclusive on Twitch in 2019. And the contract basically just did run out. So the moment that contra contract did run out, YouTube came in and bought the two. And you know which other contract is also running out or has been already been run out? Lyric. Lyric's contract apparently ran out. And we haven't heard anything of him saying that he renewed with Twitch. That doesn't mean he had to sign another contract, right? Maybe he just decided that what he has is okay and he's completely fine with that. But there might be a chance that YouTube Gaming actually did go to Lyric and was like, hey, we heard your contract just did run out. You want to you wanna sign with us? Come on, I'm pretty sure you want that. And if they are dangling enough money around and plus he might not even be happy to be on Twitch anymore, I can totally see that he leaves to YouTube Gaming soon. And who knows which of the other content creators who signed a contract with Twitch a little bit later might be up for grabs. Because the reality is, like I know that some people love to compare this to Mixer, but it's not the same thing as Mixer. Mixer only grab live streamers because they wanted to grow their audience. They wanted to grow their streaming platform, right? Here's the thing. Of course, YouTube wants to do the same thing, but YouTube is not really doing it for the audience. Like, let's be honest here. It's YouTube. YouTube has enough people on their platform already. They don't need another half a million or something like that. Like, that's not how they operate. But they want to push the live streaming service. And please, by the way, YouTube, Please, please make it easier to find people. Make it easier to find new streamers on the platform. Like, please overhaul your search function. Please. But going back 
to the whole why YouTube is doing this is because, well, it gets more eyes in YouTube gaming and it really damages Twitch. Like they are buying the people who have some big numbers who could actually hurt Twitch in the long run when they are not on the platform anymore and the people are actually leaving with them. That could work. We have to see about that. But yeah, this is all not good for Twitch and this is pretty good for YouTube. So we will see how that goes. We will see what happens with Lyric and the other content creators. If, of course, Lyric gets bought, I will definitely make another video about that. And we will see where this is all going. But it is right now a very interesting time for Twitch. And this could actually damage them quite a bit, especially when Amazon at some point says, so what are you doing for us? You are not good PR anymore, which you have been for years. You are not bringing too many people to Amazon Prime anymore. Like we basically got all the people on the platform already. And you're also not making the money we wanted for years. So what are you worth? And especially when YouTube and maybe even like Trovo and other platforms are getting to the point where they become real competition, then maybe Twitch will not even be the number one anymore in the streaming world which is right now the last thing Twitch has going for them. They're the number one when it comes to streaming. But that may just go up in smoke at some point if YouTube is continuing what they are doing. And we have to see. Like again, this whole thing, what is just happening right now, could damage Twitch more than Mixer ever could. And it will be interesting to see. But with that said, Thank you so much for watching. We're done with the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate if you leave a like on your way out. If you didn't like this video, well, the dislike button is right next to the like button. Keep in mind though, please don't hate me because I just delivered the message to you. Like I saw some people which were really unhappy with me uh, telling them that Dr. Lupo was actually like leaving Twitch forever and yeah, I got, I got the hate for that. And it's like, I have nothing to do with this. Why am I the guy who gets shot here right now, right? But yeah, if you didn't like this video, the dislike button is right next there. If you're also new to the channel and you want to get more gaming news, streaming news, uh, reaction videos, and also opinion videos, I would appreciate if you might consider to subscribe to the channel. And if you ever want to catch me live, you can do so on trovo.live slash chaos more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Stay safe. Bye-bye.